What's up, fellas? Leo Sheng here, host of the Extreme Philly Fishing Channel. Today is May, May 15, 2016. I'm here with my friend Mike Caruso. He's got the bait bucket there because we are going to get some bait now at our local tackle shop, Brinkman's Beach and Tackle here in Northeast Philadelphia. The plan for today is to fish for some northern snakeheads and of course, you know, we're gonna catch some largemouth bass too on the li on live mummy chogs that we're going to buy now. Unfortunately, you know, there was a cold front that I moved in here in Philadelphia. It's like 60 degrees right now max, but it feels really feels like 45, 50. So we'll see how it goes. See, we got here the taco shop. Right on. Oh yeah. There we go. No I always like this place, man. Fishing for today? Yeah. Hey, Hi, how's it going? Food? Can we have a, you got killifish or a mummy chow? Mm -hmm. Can we have three dozens? Uh, small or medium. Let's go with medium. Thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah, it's nice. um, oh, can, we, can I also have, do we, do you, are you going to buy night crawlers or anything? No, we need them, you think? I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna buy it. Can I have two packs of night crawlers, please? Thank you, appreciate it. Let's see here. Ooh, that was fast. Come on. Yummy night crawler. Yummy night crawler right here for you. There we go. First fish of the day. Oh man, this is a nice size bluegill. Pretty collars too. Very pretty collars as a matter of fact. There you go, the Lepomis macrocutus. Bluegill, first species here in Pensalkin. New Jersey today, we got the blue coloration going on very strong here. Apparently they're entering spawning mode, vertical bars. Your typical bluegill that you see out there. Let me do a proper release for you guys to see here. We got here one beautiful bluegill from this unnamed lake in Pennsylvania, New Jersey. There it goes. Exuberant. First species of the day, I mean the second species of the day. And second cast too, man. That's a beautiful pumpkin seed we got right here, the Lepomis gibosus. See that? Wow, man, beautiful spawning colors too. Check that out, and this would be good inside a fish tank for sure. Now, signature of the pumpkin seed, we got the blue rays here on its operculum, orange dots running only half, 50% down its body, little red on the opercular flap. <laughs> Alrighty, let's release this beautiful pumpkin seed. Look how it shines inside the water, folks. You see how beautiful pumpkin seed is inside the water? That's why, don't forget, all right? Selective harvest. If you're going to use a fish for bait, Get the bluegills, but you know, don't take the <laughs> don't take the pumpkin seed. There you go, beautiful sample. There's a small largemouth bass right in front of me. Come on, take it. There we go. Third species of the day. Although a small one, we got here a Micropterus. Salmoides, yeah, the large mouth bass. Although very small, a bass is always a bass, regardless. Beautiful. Oh, I see it. All right, there we go. There we go. Bye bye, little large mouth. Oh, all right. Damn, that's a big pumpkin seed. This pumpkin seed are big. And look how gorgeous these fish are. Oh my God. Like freaking one rod more fishing seed. Good gracious, man. This, this 
pumpkins that are oversized. That's beautiful. Look at that. Wow, man, I'll never get tired of those. What we got here, what we got here, we got here species number four of the day, the red breast sunfish, Lepomis auditus. Three different species of sunfish so far. Now we only need a green sunfish to complete the set. That's a gorgeous fish right here, all right? A little red breast sunfish, our fourth species of the day. Let's give me another good cast right here. Yeah, this is a very good cast. Come on. Fish on what we got here. Small largemouth bass on the Johnson minnow spin. Not quite what we're looking for. You now we want bigger ones. The small ones, small one regardless, that's good stuff. Fish on. Oh yeah, what is that? Oh man, it's just a bass. Another bass, man. Why is there so many bass? What's that? <laughs> Another largemouth bass, man. Fatty. Yeah, that's fat, all right? But this is not what we're looking for. Come on, you're fat. I'll give you that. But still, not quite what we're looking for. This is a fat, this is a fat little bass, though. He's been, he's been feeding well. He's been feeding way too well. Check this out. Wow. Did you that there? Yeah. All right, let's release this little guy here. Bye. Fish on. Ah, okay, this bass is a little bit bigger, but it's still a large mouth bass. What the hell, man? When is my snake head coming to come up? Are you for real, large mouth bass? Is this for real? There we go. Little largemouth bass on the minnow. Still waiting for that nice snake head to come up. There we go. Let's. There it goes. I predict I will not be able to catch this fish. Pumpkin seed. How do you know if you have a bite? Just a normal one? Hand lining and caught a pumpkin seed. I had a bite. Yeah, you will know if you have a bite right away. I mean, you will feel the, t -t 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 -t, you know, on the line. Stole my word. Using a bigger hook to avoid smaller fish, but oh, 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 fish on! Little bluegill, hand lining here. We don't need no rod. We just hand line it. That's how I used to do back in Brazil, you know. Just a line, no weight, attached to my, attached to my bag here. I'm using a fairly big hook. As a matter of fact, because I want to avoid the smaller fish. And there you go. One whole piece of night crawler on. Hand line at its best. When we're going to cast, you spin the hell out of it, right? It gains, it gains momentum. There we go. See that? You spin it. Throw it out there. And -da, that's all the line I got. You just wait for the bite. No free falling using a hand line. So, see, as soon as you feel it, set the hook. There you go. Another one comes up, this time a bluegill. Basics of hand lining 101, in case you're in Africa one day, <laughs> you need to do some fishing without a rod. Oh man, that's funny. I'm surprised I didn't get a single bite on the cut bait yet. Oh, 
what we got here? What we got here? Species number five of the day. A white perch. Oh yeah, the Moroni Americana. There we go, man. Hand lining too. This is crazy. A little white perch decided to come all the way up to get my bait. Yeah, so this white perch is actually very niche. Let's uh, unhook this fellow over here. Little, little white perch. There we go, little white perch here from the unnamed beautiful fish here. Unnamed place in Pensalco. Ready to go? There he goes.